guys, so today's DIY project is an at-home coffee and tea bar, and you guys know that I've been traveling a lot lately and going to different time zones and stuff, and what gets me out of bed in the morning is knowing that I can paddle on down in my slippers to the lobby and get a nice cup of either coffee or tea and I love the way they have it set up it's always just you have a ton of different options to choose from and it honestly having a little space like this in my home makes me want to get out of bed in the morning so I decided to take you guys along in the journey of creating my own at home coffee and tea bar and showing you guys how you can make one too So I'll start off by giving you a tour of my old coffee and tea setup. So I just have my Keurig on the counter and then next to it I have my Aroma Electric Kettle. I kept everything else that had to go with this in the cabinet above the coffee maker. On the left hand side of this lower cabinet I just have some coffee mugs for everyday quick easy reach with some goodies behind it. So in the first jar, I have all of my Keurig K-Cups, so I have just an assortment of different ones that I love, and I got the jar at the container store, and then in a Hawaii mug, I have the sweetener that I'm using, so right now I'm in Detruvia, so that's what I have, and then behind it in a pitcher, I have all of my Tazo teas, which I am a little bit obsessed with, but you know what, I am not ashamed to admit it because they taste amazing. Then on the top shelf, I have a lot more coffee mugs, and then on the left-hand side, I have iced teas. I knew that this was going to be a long project, so I wanted to listen to Requiem, which I'm almost finished with on my audible.com app. And if you guys go to audible.com slash Blair, you can actually download a free audiobook of your choice. And so if you put it in a mug, it just amplifies the sound, so it sounds a lot louder than your typical iPhone speaker. So at the beginning of every project, I just like to wipe it down and start off with a clean surface. So I am moving my devices away and then taking some Windex, spraying a few squirts, and then I'm just wiping that down with a paper towel. I don't know why I wipe down with Windex. Sometimes I'll use Clorox wipes, but I don't know, I'm weird. I just like it, it's, it's odd. And I knew I needed a new way to organize my coffee pods, so I found this at Target and it said that it was compatible with the Keurig K-Cups and I was like, Sikor! So I got this and I'm just going to place it in the corner of my new coffee station and then put all of my little fun things, goodies, back on the counter and plug them in so they're ready to go. And now I'm just organizing the Keurig K-Cups in my little new drawers that I got. So I organized them by coffee to my Snapple Peach Iced Tea and then my Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa, which is great this autumn and I love it. And then I found this mug that is so cute. It's wearing a sweater at Target for only $5.99. So I got that and the sweater unbuttons when you need to wash the mug. So I don't know, I'm just, I'm obsessed with my you can imagine that going through this picture every morning when I'm still kind of groggy, trying to find the flavored teas I like is a little obnoxious. So I believe I have three different flavors and I just took a couple out and I'm organizing them in the coffee mug. And I feel like setting this out on the counter is just gonna give that hotel vibe that I'm going for. So I have them all lined up in the mug and then I can just restock as I run out. And I found this little sugar cube container at Target as well. It matches the other accessories I'm using. And so I'm just going to put my trivia packets in there because I don't use sugar cubes so I'm gonna use my trivia packet. I'm weird but opening up this jar in the morning and seeing the bright color just makes me happy and wakes me up and then I found this cream pourer at Target and I don't use cream in my coffee I use milk and I can't set that out on the counter because obviously it'll go bad so I decided to put my little teaspoons in it I found these at World Market they were super inexpensive so I can have them sitting out on the counter because that way I always have a little stirrer to stir my coffee my way back to you and now I wanted to hang the coffee mugs. So I am using these command clear damage free hanging. These are great if you live in a rental or if you just don't wanna ruin your walls like me. So what I do is, or what you do, or what anybody does is you take off the black peeling first and you are going to stick that. You can just throw the little black peeling away. So you are going to stick that on the wall where you want the hook to hang. And then you want to hold it down for 30 seconds. This is very important not to skip this step because you are hanging a coffee mug on it and if that hook falls off your coffee mug could shatter and that's no fun so then you want to pull off the blue lining and then you want to line your hook up on it and again 
very firmly press down on this for 30 seconds and don't skip this step please so then I put four up and I'm just hanging my coffee mugs and you can see I rearranged them a couple times and it didn't look anything like what I began with but I found finally found the way that I thought they looked cutest and I'm very excited about that I'm still going and I just want to point out that in the time it took me to do this project, I finished Requiem, which is crazy. I totally love it. So don't forget, if you go to audible.com slash Blair, you can download your free book. It can be any book you want, but I totally recommend the Delirium series and the Divergent series.